Hi there, my name is Carrie Palmer. Thank you so much for finding me and I am so glad you did. I'm making this video and I've created a YouTube channel because I have quite the story to share and I have been writing my book for quite some time. Hundreds of pages have been written, but I know it is my duty to get my story out there because if there's one person that I can help with my story, then it's my duty to get it out there. The book will be coming soon. My website is www.carriepalmer.com, that's C-A-R-I palmer.com, and you found my YouTube channel. Did you know you can live a life feeling fantastic every single day of your life with zero stress and only living in the present, with no gnawing gut ball feelings that stuff isn't right ever again? Well, you can, and that is the life I live. And when I say that out loud, Part of me wants to laugh my butt off because for the first 30 years of my life, I lived in complete chaos and turmoil. So my mother was married five times and moved us 26 times before I even hit sixth grade. The first four husbands were violent, alcoholics, and abusive, torture, sexual abuse. It was pretty nasty. It was not a fun place to grow up. Daddy number two was around for the longest and he was a terrible drunk. And when he didn't sell a used car, by the end of the day, he came home and you're gonna get beaten because that's the way he rolled. My life was hell, absolute hell. And then when my mother married my fifth dad, all of a sudden he, we had this normal life. We lived in the same house for me, which was fantastic from sixth grade all the way until I graduated from high school and moved out. One father, one house. And to everybody on the outside, I appeared to be completely normal, other than the body disfigurements that I had, that's a whole other tape. But inside, I was broken. I was a mess. I had no role model on how to live and go out and survive in the world. I had no idea. When I left home, I continued to spiral downhill. There were a few times I had a bottle of pills in front of me, I was ready to die. I wanted desperately for answers and for help, but I had nobody there to help me. There was always something inside of me that just thought it doesn't have to be this way, but I could never put my finger on it. It just, it was what it was. It's all I knew. So before I jumped off of the back of the cruise ship, which I had completely planned to do, I even had a note at home written ready for people to find out when I didn't come back from the cruise. I found myself something that I didn't know existed, which was a self-help book. And when I read this first book, I started feeling the fire in my belly starting to twist and turn and tell me, I can do this. But when you grow up with, pardon the cats, when you grow up with complete chaos, that is all you know. Your role models taught you that, that's all you can know. I had one foot solid in crazy. But that other toe started dibbling out and just touching like health, strength, power, ability to make my own decisions. <gasps> what would that be like, right? I was not making my decisions. I could not, I did not know how. Everybody was to blame for all the crap I went through. Everybody, because I had no control. I remember one time I was walking by a mirror and I turned and faced this mirror. And I just remember clenching my fist. I was like, I just, all I could do not to punch that mirror because the woman in the mirror, I despised her. I hated that woman. I wanted nothing to do with her, but damn it, I was her. And there was nothing I could do about it. So after I found that self-help book, I started to make steps to get out of crazy. It took me from 30 years old to 35 years to when I entered knowing that I wanted help to where 35 to where I felt that I graduated and I let go of all my baggage. No longer did anybody drive my bus. I was the driver. I was kind of extreme for a while, but then I backed down and I found a nice little comfortable place. And today I can honestly say that the woman I am today, if she was anywhere near the woman I was at 30 years old, that woman would be scared to death of me. And I guarantee it. It's because that woman was pathetic, as I called myself pond scum. I always look at self-esteem like water. It seeks its own level. That woman was, she was total pond scum. And today I can confidently and honestly say I am a solid 10. 
I feel phenomenal. I live in the present and I have no stress in my life. I have choices and I make those choices and I own every choice I make. So I'm making these videos because it's my duty to help whoever I can right now. I'm making these videos because I know I can help you get out of your dark place. It doesn't matter where you are in darkness. If you're way at the bottom, if you know you've got that fire in your belly, you know it doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't. That's the first step. You have to own the fact that you can make every decision and change absolutely everything in your life. And you can, I promise you, you can. There will be many videos and many blog posts coming out and my book will be finished, but I do want to help you. I want to show you because I had to do it on my own 100%. Nobody helped me pull myself out of the trenches to get to where I am today. I did it alone and you don't have to. I am there to help you. If I can help anybody in this lifetime move their mountain, that's what I'm here to do. My name is Carrie Palmer. I've got a lot of stories to share. I've got a lot of wisdom to give and a lot of strength. And I'm here. I'll reach out, I'll grab my hand, and I can help pull you out of your hole. We got this. Let's move your mountain. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.